In today's market, a lot of people tend to overlook home inspections, which is a big red flag. So here's what you need to know about home inspections in PA in 2022 and what to avoid. On the main line right now, the inventory is considerably restricted. Buyers are doing anything they can to secure a home from paying above asking to giving terms to sellers that are not usually recommended. So one of the biggest trends we're seeing right now is foregoing inspections. And foregoing inspections, while popular with many realtors whose chief interest is in closing, is really not a benefit to the buyers or the sellers. But first, there's the risk to the buyers who will assume financial responsibility for anything that is wrong with a home. So consider the unknown safety hazards that may be present, but undetectable to the untrained eye. As a diligent realtor who's an advocate for my clients, I'm always looking for water stains, cracks, maybe up in the wall or near the foundation and at the state of the roof. But there are things even I rely on heavily for inspections. Homes do not come with a maintenance plan and many owners are unaware when things need to be replaced. You could buy a house without an inspection and end up having incredibly expensive repairs that you have to make even to have the home habitable. Another question some buyers pose is, can I do an inspection myself? Well, well sure you can. You could have a professional do this after the sale, but then you're still liable for those repairs. And even still some clients ask if it's even necessary to look at themselves or have a friend look. Again, this is a big no. A professional inspector is a certified and trained to follow certain guidelines that are strict and they have to look everywhere for everything, down to the unforeseen from leaky faucets to leaks in gas mains. A professional inspector is going to be able to see structural, cosmetic, and potential safety hazards that an untrained person or even someone who is a contractor might not even see. So the most common problems that are crucial to a home sale that inspectors find include roof damage or wear, drainage issues, a faulty foundation, plumbing issues, pest infestation, hidden mold, faulty wiring, failing of heating or cooling systems. This list did raise some alarms, I'm sure, but these can be really costly issues if they're not addressed. So when you or your realtor is present during a home inspection, be sure to ask about each of these areas of a home. Additionally, choose an inspection company that is reputable. If you're financing a home, your investment could be at stake. So next thing to consider when purchasing a home is if they find serious problems is how to address problems with regard to the home price. And this is where your realtor comes in. Many times price concessions are made and deft negotiations are critical to protecting your investment. So another reason realtors who are looking to close would forgo an inspection is that if something comes up, it will often require negotiations that they would rather not engage in. And this is because it takes time and it takes patience and experience. And you have a certain amount of leverage with the asking price when inspectors find things, but they will also find things that really will not affect the asking price or the negotiated price. So realtors experience makes all of the difference. Another optional security measure buyers will sometimes ask about is whether you need a survey for a property. And generally you will not need a survey for a property unless you are considering building on land or concerned about the state of the parcel, surveys are a matter of public record in most instances. So performing due diligence, you can locate a survey, but for routine buying and selling of a property, it's not really necessary. So as a reputable mainline realtor, I do not recommend foregoing inspection unless you plan 
on making significant upgrades to a home or to tear it down. But in any event, you should contact a realtor to assess any purchases moving forward. But I did want to put out there that, you know, if you have certain relationships with inspection companies, which I do, they can come out and help us do something called like a walkthrough inspection. And what's so amazing about this is you don't need necessarily that written report, but they can walk through when we walk through the home with us and they can point out any key features such as that foundation, the age of the roof, the age of the HVAC systems, the water heater, are there any you know, shifting or, you know, found, you know, anything shifting in the home, like major, major issues. And they don't need to write up the report. It's usually half or one fifth of the price, depending on the price of the home. But that can give you a lot of peace of mind if you wanted to move forward, that those major high ticket items look good, or at least you know what you're kind of getting into. So that is another option in a market like this today so I can help you with that as well. So I wanted to let you know, I get calls all the time on people moving homes, specifically around the mainline PA. So please reach out to me if you're looking at buying in or around the mainline PA, or if you would like to know more, my number is in that description below. So if you've enjoyed this video, I'm sure you're going to love the next one coming on the screen right now. So thank you so much for watching.